What's up? We're back at it with some more blocks piece. So I'm going to be streaming, uh, giving away fruits. If you guys want to see that, make sure you guys check out my channel. I'm going to be streaming, giving away fruits for the whole night. If you guys want to be a part of that, make sure you guys check it out. I'm going to go ahead and read through update 11 right here to show everything that's new. Make it a quick video. Let's jump straight into it. New raid, special event added. Insane. I, I, this has something to do with fruit awakening and artifacts. Massively buffed experience earned from old world quests. Also increased the EXP boost from all Twitter codes to 20 minutes. Okay, cool Twitter codes. Basically, old world people are going to be able to level up much, much, much faster. Fruit awakenings added. Just like Doflamingo, when he awakened, we have flame, ice, and quake. Not rubber. I feel like if rubber would awaken, it would be gear fourth, which would be dope. Here it is. New currency added called fragments, which replace rare artifacts. Unlike artifacts, this currency saves between servers, giving you the possibility to save them up. How to obtain, defeat Darkbeard, defeat Sea Beast, and clear raids. Basically, it's going to be taking over the old system completely. This is great. I love this change. Listen, Darkblade users, Yoru, that's me. New model has been added. I saw it. It's so sexy. New and faster combat animations. I seen that. It felt quicker. You're going to be able to get out and get punished less. Alternating moves. Holding Z for at least 0.25 seconds will move you forward. X can be charged for up to 0.4 seconds for a slightly faster attack and to break observation. It's just, it's it's like auto rework. It's just insane now. That's amazing. I love it. Game passes can now be gifted to other players through the in-game shop. Added a way to switch between awake and unawakened moves. Basically, unawakened, awakened. If you're too scared to awaken your fruit, just do it because you can go back to it at any time. This is great. I like this because now you can, you know, if you're too scared, just try it, man. Maybe you'll like the fruit. Added a way to increase your cruise capacity. Interesting. Uh, added a way to increase your crew capacity. If you're part of a crew and you need more members, hey, that's pretty dope. Added a way to change the state of your enhancement ability visually. Added mouse lock to mobile. If you're a mobile player, you can now mouse lock, which is great for you because honestly, I don't know how you guys play on mobile. Observation can now be toggled by pressing E, so a new button, E, pay attention to that. Raise V3 abilities can now be activated on mobile by pressing a new button or by pressing T on PC. So T and E, new buttons, remember them. VIP server owners can now shut down the second C servers. Thank God, I can do that now. That's good. Added a confirmation window to eating fruits. <laughs> I've seen some people drop fruits on people and they accidentally eat it. That's just hilarious. I'm glad that they fixed that. Doghouse V2 now sells physical spike fruits. I mean, interesting. We're gonna have to, we're gonna check that out. Added a chess mini game. I don't know what that's about. It says chess, so it's not chests. It's weird. Now this is everything that's new. Now we're going to talk about everything that changed. Energy now regenerates faster the higher your max energy, and energy is two times faster on the ground. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired of people just chilling in the sky, they're annoying. Killing a player now regenerates up to 33% of your max energy and health depending on level difference. Thank god, people who 2v1, now if you get a kill in there, you're going to be able to get some health and energy to kill the second guy real quick. Reduce the max number of extra air jumps for the sky race by 2 and 1 for the other races. Interesting, everyone can jump more now, but Sky Race have some bad news coming up. Added some gravity to dashing in the air. You could literally be able to dash across the whole world, but now I guess not, if you were high enough at least. Increase the speed of dashes that happen on the ground for evolved races. Interesting, okay. Last Resort no longer takes away your own health. Uh, and the base damage increased by 2.5, that's pretty good. Reduce the jump height of Sky Race. There it is. So you're not going to be jumping much higher than everyone else because they get give you an extra jump. So I, I think that's fair. Slightly nerf the dashing cooldown during agility. Coco's X casts 0.04 seconds faster. Barely a big change. If you're a, a little law boy, you'll love this change. Increase the teleport range on Jite's X. Reduce the stun on Ice's C. The original stun was 2 seconds. Now it ranges from 0.62 seconds depending on how long it traveled before exploding. Okay, so I know Ice Fruit's going to be broken now. <laughs> True Triple Katana changes. Reduce the range on Z by 15%. Okay. Reduce the stun on Z by 0 0.2. Wow. Reduce the damage on X from 27 to 26. Fix and reduce the tornado. Oh my god. Nerf after nerf after nerf. Now it acts more like a cone than a big sphere. Yikes. Rubber's V now decreases energy regen by 25% instead of 50%. That's a buff. Slowly reduce the delay on Doe's V, interesting, and slightly increase the hitbox on X and C. So Doe might be back in rotation. Decrease the end lag on Control C, making it easier to combo. Oh, I like that. Reduce the cooldown on Quake's V, and made C string undodgeable? What? You cannot dodge? What? Okay, interesting. That's, that might be insane if you just spam that. 
buffed at dark coat interesting what did they buff with that i don't know but here's the thing there's a bunch of other changes here which is like bug fixes and other changes i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some time to read that right now right so i'm gonna go ahead just five just pause the video if you need five you know four three two one i'm gonna be streaming this game right now giving away fruits as early as possible if you guys want some free fruits i'm gonna be giving them out you just gotta follow the rule like subscribe and do this other thing i'm gonna be talking about on stream basically it if you guys want uh go ahead and check it out i'm gonna end this video here have a good one guys peace out